warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Go Force. We would like to present the material about politeness and impoliteness practices in Makassar Pride. Uh, the members of us of our group there are uh, six members. The first one is Siti Nabila Rafika, Dia Istiqoma, Nur Wahida, Esa Hairunisa, Maksira Nurganti, and the last member is Irmawati. The first material will be read by yours. Okay, thank you for the time. And I will explain about the interaction. So uh, the interaction is the relation related is based on the parameters of age, occupation, education, economic level, gender, social strata, and social distance or solidarity or level of family familiarity. If someone puts their self in an interaction, she or he is a polite person. On the contrary, a person is rude if she or he cannot put their self in an interaction. It applies to anyone and in any situation, either formal or non-formal. So if you interact with someone by being sharing or in engaging in any kind of action that involves the two of you, you can be said to have an interaction with that person. I think for me, thank you. Um, the second material is Esa Hairunisa. It's about politeness. Time is yours. Okay, I will uh, explain about the politeness. According to Lamas, implies that politeness is a form of language analysis showing the obedience to the acceptance of set of social and cultural principles that emphasize solidarity and social distance. Normally, people talking in a formal situation will use more polite speech, wherein, whereas in informal situation, speakers tend to use a more familiar styles of speech. In addition, people also change the level of speech depending on the situation, even when talking with the same person. Thank you. Uh, for the will be by my dancing time is yours okay thank you uh in politeness uh cool paper introduced two of the most well-known definition of impoliteness in his first definition which is which is more general cool paper described it as the use of strategy design to take place their social conflict and disharmony so the results show that impoliteness can be done intentionally or not depending on what the speaker wants to show uh, with his or her impoliteness. The hearer himself or herself get the effect of impoliteness and it is mainly used linguistic uh, component. Uh, thank you. Thank you uh, for the next material will be read by Nur Wahida. Uh, the example, we, we've got the data from one of influencer in Makassar, Tumming Abu. So, Wahida, time is yours. Okay, I want to read uh, the dialogue uh, Tumming Abu. For the lelaki. Abu, oh, di rumah aku di tadi kemana begini? Oh, you're in my house last night. Pacar Tumming. Sini pale HP tak Give me your phone. I want to see. To me, your phone is at the end of the sentence. Vertical is an is an affix or some meaning with punya tak. She also used the to me. Eh, the book is an other pronouns in the sentence. Ka is the word that describes the evolution. Thank you. Yeah, for the last material, we'll read by Hermawat. Time is yours. Okay, I will explain the conversation between Tuming and Abu. 
Tumeng. Halo, eh abu dulu nggak nah mau api daftar KPPS. The meaning in English is, um, hello abu, I went ahead to sign up it in KPPS. Abu, mantap saudara, ngapai, anggap pai yang ko capa capa pekerjaanku, anggap pa mada, anggap pa masing dale eh. The meaning in English is, great brother, look down understand my, my job I get more sustenance um, in the dialect Abu use ko in jangko which is uh, in politeness in Makassar term of term of ko word is used if we talking with our close friends or we are in information informal situation So that's all for our group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.